who would have thought that uh, Corinne Spicer would be closing the festival? That was Nicole Holland, the famous Nicole Holland who's been putting this together. Now, you are an amazing young lady. You're bouncing around. You've got all these different jobs and titles and roles. And you had a movie here, Whiskey Girls, that you produced. Yes, I did. And it was directed by my dear and talented friend, Amy Linden. Who has a hot tub. Don't want to get there. <laughs> and a pool. And a pool. And a pool. Okay, I'm sold. And I'm working with you on a project yes. called Saving Little Italy. Oh, she's wonderful the way she plugs. She's doing a phenomenal job. Corinne put us, she got us on radio, TV uh, to promote the film. She got us some great locations, and along with uh, Julia Alexander, was able to get us some big heavy hitters and ICM, uh, some interviews. So we're really excited about having you guys now. You know, I'm leaving to New York to promote the film there. I'm tomorrow. excited. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock I leave. Well, you have to keep me posted. Uh, you are involved. What are you? You're in the project. You're one of the producers on the project. We're very excited having you. I'm very excited. So I, I love Vinny Vela. Oh, Vinny's great. We're trying to get Robert De Niro over there involved, maybe do a cameo since that was Vinny's best man at his wedding. I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know that. But Vinny is great. He's the unofficial mayor of uh, Little Italy in New York City and quite a character. <laughs> he is quite a character. So we're going to be catching up with Vinny and hopefully he'll get his best man to be in the movie, Robert De Niro. You know, De Niro's doing his um, his festival right now, right? Tribeca. Fantastic. So we're going to catch up with Bobby somewhere. But uh, So what's next for you other than Saving Little Italy, which you're producing? And producing? I have another project. We have just finished casting. We've locked our locations. We start shooting in May. And the project is called I Love You, Eddie Deason. It's written by my talented friend, Cherry Matson, And it is a nerd seeks nerd love story. Wow. Yes, it's really... Did you write this? No, no, my friend Sherry wrote it. Oh, okay. And it's about a gal who quits her dead-end job, flies to Hollywood because she's in love with this actor named Eddie Deason, who is this character nerd actor, and <laughs> she's just been in love with him for years, and she seeks him out, and of course everything goes wrong, but in the end, nerd meets nerd, and they fall in love, and it's got sounds like It sounds like a classic film. Yeah. <laughs> it could be like uh, Gone with the Wind. I like happy. I like happy stories. Happies are good. We have a happy. We have a couple of happy movies we're doing. Well, Corinne Spicer, I want to thank you so much. This is the last interview of the last day of the festival week and who else but better than you to close and you and Nicole who came in a little while ago so I want to thank you all on behalf of Festival Week I'm Rich Rossi and we'll see you all next year thanks so much